So I saw this interesting article on page six regarding Ellen DeGeneres hanging out with Kevin Hart. So I'm assuming most of you are aware of the things going on around Ellen DeGeneres, where she's basically been accused of cultivating a toxic work environment. Employees, former guests are all going around and basically saying that she's a bit of a nightmare to deal with, a nightmare to work with. And the people that she's hired to basically man the, the ship and sort of, uh, yeah, man the ship, executive producers and stuff are also pretty horrible people as well. And, you know, some sexual harassment things are coming out, the woodwork and all that sort of good stuff. But I guess it's important to note because I guess for some reason, I don't know why, but I never really got this impression. But I guess some people had this idea in their head that because she has this be kind mantra that she was somehow a nice person uh, or an easy to get along with person. But I never really got that impression. I always thought she was a little bit highly strung, which is not an issue. I don't think you should be cancelled for being mean. That's really bizarre um, that we've gotten in, we've gotten to a stage in life now where, you know, again, cancel culture has its faults, but it also has its positives, right? Where if you can't get somebody, if you can't essentially take somebody down via a police report, if they did something bad to you or you can't get them arrested or fined, whatever it may be, the least you can do is ruin them online, reputational wise, right? Um, let them take a bit of a hit for the pain that they made you suffer you know years back or whenever it happened right that's the most you can do but obviously it gets it can go a bit too far when people start making up stories or you get trialed by me or you get trialed or you get uh judged by social media without having the ability to defend yourself blah 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 but i also don't like this idea that somehow in the entertainment industry these kids or these people in general who are working in this infrastructure somehow think they have a right to work in an environment that breeds positivity or that has um characters in there that always look after your best interest and you know are trying to make sure that you progress and get where you need to get to and giving you chances it's never ever been like that i, I don't know what anyone else thinks but having worked in you know parts of some sort of subculture or a scene that has limited amount of opportunities it's always the same right the the very top people get all the chances and the people at the bottom have to scrap for whatever else is available right I literally fight for the scraps but for the most part you do grow up very quickly in these environments because you encounter so many different types of personalities along your way that you're somehow able to kind of figure out how to deal with them and you also are able to know what you want to be like the kind of person that you want to be when, when you get to a place that you need to get to but it doesn't necessarily mean you need to disparage the person that you worked with previously right but if you worked for Ellen DeGeneres and she was an absolute b-i-c-t-h to you you would know more likely than not the next job you got especially if you got a job with some level of seniority that you're going to go above and beyond not to be like her or not to copy the things that she laid bare but the, the, the fact that she gave you a chance was enough already and it like you didn't really expect that I don't know. I think it's just naive that you'd go into it thinking that the person you saw on TV was the same person that you're going to see behind the cameras. And I also sometimes think there is a lot that people don't understand that you have to deal with when you're Ellen DeGeneres and you're the face of an entire network, an entire show. The amount of money that's in, attached to her as well in Hollywood, people don't really understand, which is we, you, you're kind of getting a bit of a glimpse with it. When it, hap when it comes to the whole Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez shooting incident. We have no real details have come out about this story. You just have Megan's side of it, which sounds a little bit hard to believe, but let's say it is true and she did get shot in both feet and nothing happened to her bones and she isn't crippled or anything happened. She just you know, ha happened to have the luck of the Irish and it passed through complete flesh. Um, but, you know, there's so many parts of the story that doesn't really add up. Um, we haven't involved Kylie Jenner in it. Tori Lenz hasn't made any comment on it. But you soon realise that, you know, there's a lot of money involved in these personalities, right? A lot of brands um, have staked uh their entire you know futures on the success of these people within their own areas of expertise so they're doing whatever they can behind the scenes to quell the story to spin a certain narrative so that their investment doesn't just go down the drain that's what it's about money right money is what moves things forward and what keeps that whole place ticking so if you're an degenerate, the amount of pressure that's on you to keep that train to keep that whole infrastructure going chugging along especially during these difficult times is very very hard it's not easy thing to do and i'd imagine day to day you're not going to be the most pleasant person to be around or in general even just the fact that you've got that kind of level of power and that kind of level of influence in the industry it's going to maybe give you a different i don't know anyone i'll just imagine i think the same thing with presidents and prime ministers anyone that would gladly try and become a prominent political figure in any way shape or form you've probably got something you're probably a little bit 
fucked up, right? You probably, uh, sh- you're probably uh, made of different stuff than you and I, right? To be able to willingly put yourself through that rigmarole just so you can be a prime minister, an MP, uh, a member of parliament, a governor, whatever. It doesn't, it's not not every, not your everyday average citizen will want to do that job. So I think if you're Ender Generous, you have to, the public needs to be aware that she probably isn't, you know, she's not the same as you and I. And again, she's a stand-up comic, right? For what, 20 plus years. So there's already a lot of, you know, turmoil and trouble there that goes on. But regardless, this article from page six, it's pictures Ellen Jones with Kevin Hart and made toxic workplace claims. And I don't know. I kind of rate Kevin Hart, man. I gave him a lot of credit because, again, like I said before, I think Hollywood has proved with the whole Chris D'Elia situation and, you know, the TFAT K guys, the Brian Callen and Brendan Shaw, how they threw him under the bus and stuff. It kind of laid to bear how um, surface level the friendships are in Hollywood and how people can sometimes, you know, ditch you completely, especially if you have an allegation hanging over your head and they want to protect their sponsors. So for Kevin Hart to go out of his way to kind of get pictured having dinner, with Anne DeGeneres on, on an, you know, an outside porch area somewhere where they're definitely going to get papped. Don't, don't think this is a, a press opportunity. It's really commendable because, you know, he has his own things that he has to deal with, Kevin Hart and his own side of the business. And I'm sure being associated or aligned with Ellen isn't going to help, but he's definitely really putting down a flag in the ground and saying, hey, this is my friend and I'm going to stand by her because what I know of her, she's a good person. And you can't, you know, again, it's a bit of, it's a bit empty because I think if you work with her, you probably know her more than what Kevin Hart does. Ke- you know, Ellen DeGeneres sees Kevin Hart as an equal. But I guess if you're an employee, you've definitely seen the, the dragon in Ellen DeGeneres. But I just do think it's commendable that he would go out of his way to stick his neck out to kind of defend his friend in public this way. From page six, it says the following. Ellen DeGeneres was spotted on Saturday with her pal Kevin Hart shortly after the Jumanji actor defended the in Battle Star amid allegations of toxicity at the Ellen DeGeneres show. Dressed in a printed navy top, beige cargo pants and sandals, DeGeneres 62 lunch with Hart 41 at the Rosewood Miriam Beach in Montecito, California, where she was sipping white wine while chatting with Hart, who wore a light blue shirt and matching shorts. Earlier this month, Hart joined choruses of celebrities including Katy Perry, Scooter Braun and Diane Keating, among others, voicing support for DeGeneres, who has recently come under fire over claims that she's created a toxic work environment and former Ellen General staffers have accused top executive of a show of sexual misconduct. Now, that's just looking at it from plainly, right? It's a bit, I would imagine if you're so, it's, it's interesting, I guess because cancel culture is getting a bit crazy and certain people are getting thrown under the bus that shouldn't get thrown under the bus. Some celebrities are being, are getting worried that if they don't stick up for somebody, eventually cancel culture is going to come after them. But I still think it's a bit strange that celebrities are coming out and defending somebody who's been accused of creating a toxic work environment by her employees. That's very strange and pretty tone definite. It's not that, you know, another celebrity is accusing Ellen of like blocking her chances of becoming a Hollywood star. No, employees that work with her day-to-day showrunners and stuff are saying that she's a horrible person to work for, right? And that she doesn't create the best working environment and her mantra of be kind is complete falsehood that's only reserved for the show and then celebrities are coming and saying no 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 she's nice she's really lovely to me of course she is you're in bloody jumanji of course she's going to be nice to you do you know what i mean like so I, I don't know that that is that really doesn't sit right with me but i also do think it's an effect it's a natural effect or consequence of some celebrities getting cancelled who shouldn't get cancelled and these celebrities feeling as if eventually the cancellation guillotine is going to come down on their neck and they'd much rather stick their neck out and try and defend somebody so that when it does happen to them they have somebody that can rally around them i think so i think that's basically because it doesn't really it's odd timing that these guys will come out now and defend ellen in in this case because it doesn't really seem that it seems quite cut and dry she obviously is a bit of a pain to work for um i don't think it's any secret i think everyone probably knew this and but i guess you know in this new age where everyone wants to have a safe space it gets a bit of a problem but I don't know, but again, I still rate Kevin Hart for doing it. Uh, maybe it's a, it's a, again, it's him kind of paying her back for sticking by him when he was going through his troubles. Um, it continues here. It says, it's crazy to see my friend go through um, what she's going through publicly. Hot post on Instagram early in August. He said, I have known Ellen for years and I can honestly say that she's one of the dopest people on this effing planet. She has treated my family and my team with love and respect from day one. The internet has become a crazy world of negativity. We are falling in love with people's downfall. It's honestly sad. When did we get here? Yeah, th- there is an element of that. I do think there's some people that were looking forward to Ellen failing i think much like james corden in the uk ellen has a, a group of people that love her and a group of people that completely hate her guts which is understandable i guess if you're on that level
Marvel. That's just what it comes with. The it comes with the territory. There's probably no rational reason why people don't like her. She might be a little bit dry on the show. The whole dancing thing is a bit cringe, but she seems pretty decent enough. Celebrities seem to like sitting in front of her and talking about their most deepest darkest secrets. So what can you do? It's the continuity. It says I stand by the ones that I know and that I love. I'm looking forward to the future we get back to loving one another this hate s has to stop hopefully it goes out of style soon this post is not meant to disregard the feelings of others and their experiences it's simply to show what my experience has been with my friend love you for life ellen which i definitely agree with right and this is what you would have wanted again it's not the same with the crystalia thing i know it's underage girls involved but reading the story this is what you would have wanted from brian can and brenda Shaw, right to do to do to their friend hey i'm gonna stand by my friend because i know him to be a good guy so that in case the guillot the cancellation guillotine comes for you, you have somebody else that can kind of rally around you. But when they all kind of scurry back into their little caves and start pointing fingers and start pretending like they don't know anybody, eventually those same people that cancel everybody, they smell blood and they eventually come after you. Hence with the Brian Callen situation and hence maybe other allegations that might come out later in the future, allegedly if you believe what you read on the internet. But again, I think it's commendable. I think it's maybe ill timed. Because, again, the allegations aren't from other celebrities. Mainly, they're from people that actually work on the show. But, again, you know, look, it is what it is. Um, Ellen might be a bit of a pain to work for, but I don't think it's any secret. And I just think working in the entertainment industry and that level, you have to expect that some people that you work with are going to be complete, absolute assholes. Um, they're going to, you know, um, rule with an iron fist. They're going to make the, the working environment that you work in very, very unpleasant, but they should serve as an example of what not to do when you get to your position, I think, in my opinion. But again, what do I know?